Hey again guys, hey, I have got a nice little burner for you today. So a good intermediate level class. Um, I will offer variations, but do know that this class is a slightly higher level. It's got a lot more weight bearing in it and things like that. Um, but always know your options. Um, you know, always come down to your knees if you need to, etc. Um, or just message me if you're unsure, if you've got anything that's going on with the body that you need to know about. Be happy to help. Um, so we're going to start off in kneeling. Um, so we're down on our knees, shins, feet. Um, hopefully this is a comfortable position for you. Um, if it's not, then you might want to prop or maybe put a little cushion or roll out towel underneath your ankles. Um, just to give yourself a little bit more support. Alright, and we're here. Let's just take a moment. Um, let's just close the eyes down. Let the shoulders melt down. And feel your kind of sit bones plugging you into your heels just let everything relax okay and just focus on your breath for a couple of moments so our breathing is really important it's one thing we can control so taking that beautiful long slow deep breath in exhale side out part the lips let the air exit and again big breath in exhale shoulders melt everything just becomes that little bit heavier Two more breaths like that. Find a little bit of length on the breath in. Exhale, let the shoulders melt. Keep that length. So you're using your muscles around your spine to hold you up. They're quite capable of that. Good. All right. And then here, let's just take a nice little neck roll. So just doing some nice little rolls through the neck. Waking up through the body. Good, and then the other way. Right. Just take your right arm up and over, bring it in behind your head, holding on to your elbow with your left hand, and just taking a little stretch in through that shoulder, through the tricep. Good, and then switching sides. Good. Again, focus on your breathing, make sure your head isn't jutted forward, keep the length through the spine. All right, and then just relaxing the arms down beside you. All right, so here, we're gonna come off the feet because we're starting to get a little bit numb. We're gonna go into like a squat variation. So here we're just going to, all you're gonna do is come up to standing. Okay, so check down through your knees. Knees are at that sit bone of distance. And then here, lower your hip up bottom back to your heels and then sit straight back up. Good, everyone's used to my muck up of words. Makes me normal, right? Again, lower the bum and then sit back up. So I'll turn side on so you can see this movement. My bottom sticks out like I'm hinging through my hips. And then I bring my hips forward like I'm moving my sit bones forward towards my mirror. And again, I sit down, hinge through the hips, sit back up. Good, hinge down, sit up. So you can bring the arms in with it. By all means, I know everyone's pretty equipped at home. Grab some cans, water bottles, maybe some hand weights if you're super amazing and got to Go to Rebel or the warehouse before we got shut down. Good. Let's go for five more here. Good, so that bottom's just hovering off the heels. Three. Two. One. Come back up. We're going to hover down halfway. We've got little pulses. So really pressing from those sit bones. Got a little lifts up and down, little bounces to five, four, three, two, one, all the way up. Well done. Okay, so we're pressing the sit bones forward as we came up. We're gonna keep those sit bones pressing forward, reach the arms forward, really think about that connection, ribs towards hips. Okay, that's gonna stay the same as we lean back and come back forward. Both arms forward. Can you keep the tail down the back of your legs? That's it, keep pressing those sit bones forward. We've got two more here. Go, keeping the spine nice and long. Imagine you like a little hinge from the knees. Go, last one. Come back forward, let's add a little rotation to that. So tuck the right arm back. Follow it with your gaze, come back forward. Left arm back, 
rotate with the gaze, come back forward. Keep the sit bones pressing forward, don't let the lower back do this movement, it's coming from that hinge through the knees. Good, over to the left. Good, and then to the right, last one on each side. Woo. Good work, coming all the way back up. Have a go, team. Good work. From here, we're going to take the right leg. This is my left leg. Left leg out to the side. So up to you with your mirror in there and use the other side. And then come all the way down. Good work. We're going to take a big stretch up and over. So you're lengthening all the way out through that left side. Good. How big can you make that arch through the top of your ribs? And then exhale. We're going to windmill the arms. Coming all the way up and over. Stretching out now through that right side. And again, coming down. Reaching out through that left. And then all the way up, windmilling those arms, fanning them open. Good. One more over towards that left. Already my glutes firing on this right. This is going to be a tough little series. Hand comes back to hip. Okay, so you're lining yourself up here. Check foot, knee, hand. I've got cramp. Good work. And one nice long line. So check that your head doesn't cut, start coming forward to watch the foot. The foot's not going to move. Well, it does move, but it won't leave the end of your leg. From here, we're going to lift the leg up and then lower it back down. And again, lifting up and down. Good work. Option, hover the foot off the floor if you want that bit of extra challenge. Great, we've got five. Good, keep the gaze forward. Three. Keep lengthening. Last one. Good. Can we lift the leg back up and do some circles? Keep the body nice and still. Oh, I've got the good shakes going today. For three, two, one. And then back the other way. Oh, we just about forgot. For three, two, one. Oh, lower that leg all the way down. Come back to have a little stretch. So that right leg was stabilizing as the left leg was doing it. So you may feel both bottoms in quite different ways. Both bottoms, both sides of your bottom. All right, let's bring that right leg out. And again, come down. Oh, take a nice big stretch out through the right side. That should feel really good. Big breath into those top ribs. Again, windmill the arms all the way up and over. And again, coming back down. Open up those top ribs, come into that side bend. Up and over. Good work. I just turned the heater off. I didn't realize how hot it was in here. Good work. Coming all the way down. Good work. Stretch out. Bring that hand into the top of the hip. Check the body's in that one nice long line. Gaze is forward. Make sure your head's not jutting forward. That's it. And again, we're going to lengthen that top leg out. Lift it up. Good. And down to the floor again. Lift it up. Options. Just coming into that hover off the floor rather than resting the foot down. Good for four, three, two, one. Into your circles for three, two, one. Out of the way. Good work. Option, guys, if the kneeling doesn't feel nice to do this, you can always come down into sideline. Last one here, Ooh, and then lower that leg all the way down. Spin yourselves around, we're into our quadruped position, hands on the floor. Let's come back into a little child's pose just to stretch out the back and those glutes. Come back forward, shoulders directly over the top of your wrists, hands are nice and wide. So I've got my pinky fingers are just about reaching towards the outer edges of my mat, my fingers are spread. Okay, soft bend through the elbows, big breath in, exhale, reach your right leg out behind you, hook the toes under, press back through that heel. Sweep the left leg out without moving through the body, into your full press up position. It's alright, we're not going to do a press up. So check with your press up that you haven't let the hips sink and the hips aren't too high. You want the heels, the hips and your head to be in one long line. Good, and then here, have a little chest, drop the chest down, press the chest away from the floor. 
So you should be quite engaged. You're thinking about the whole front of the body. So the ribs towards the hips are keeping you engaged. All right, and again, we'll drop that down to the knees, toes together, come back into child's pose. Come back forward. All right, let's go left leg long this time. Hook the toes under. Pick up the right leg for a little hover. Join the ankle up towards your left knee. From here, we're just tapping the right heel knee down to the forwards of the floor and then picking it up. Knee taps and then up. Good, knee taps and up. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. Right leg out, left leg in, ankle to knee. And again, little knee taps, left side for five, four, three, two, one. Left leg out, knees down to the floor, nice and wide. And again, sinking back down into your child's pose. Taking that stretch back. Big breath into the back of the ribs. Hope you got your heart rate up now. Nice and warm. All right, and again, come back into your quadruped. Hope your wrists are feeling okay. No, you can always roll at the front of your mats if you've got a little bit of wrist issues. Really think about press the floor away. As strong as you make those shoulders, it will take pressure out of those wrists. Sometimes it's just a matter of building up the strength as well. All right, let's go right leg long. Take a breath in, think pubic bone draws towards your navel, left leg out. Good, we're in our full plank position. Take a breath in, exhale, press the hips up to the ceiling, come into your downward dog or your inverted V position, roll back forward. And again, exhale, roll back. Inhale, roll forward. Let's go four, three, Two, one, come back into your plank, bring your right elbow to where your right palm was, turn onto your side. Hi, we're in side plank, well done. All right, come down if you need to, option, you can always bring the bottom leg down if you need that little bit extra support. Otherwise, out in your full side plank, feet stacked or staggered. You can choose what works for you. I'm gonna go bottom knee down. From here, we're just going to do a little hip tap. So hip taps down towards the floor, pick it back up. And again, tap it down and up. Okay, so you should feel that whole lift through that side waist, side ribs, armpit drawing away from the floor. Let's go for three, two, and one. Press up. Feet long, left hand comes down to the floor. Can you press up, back into your press up position? From here, left elbow comes down to where the left hand was, turning into your side plank. All right, you're gonna to have to not listen to me. So again, choosing your position with your legs. From here, little hip taps. Go, we've got four, three, two, one, lift up, can you press even higher? Roll back, right hand down onto the floor, turn back into your plank. Go work right now, full plank position from here. Softly, if you need to come down to your knees, bend your elbows down towards your waist. How slow can you lower yourself? Down towards the floor, all the way down. Good work. All right, reach the arms out nice and long, have a big stretch. Let the body go nice and heavy. Okay, slowing down the breathing now. Let's go, hands stacked, forehead on top of hands. Again, remembering with any of your prone or your belly work, sit bones are gonna reach down the back of the legs, so check that the lower back's not dumping, you're gonna reach it away. Forehead's resting on hands. Take a big breath in. Exhale, press the hands, press the forearms into the floor. Let the gaze and the chest come forward. Really wide collarbones, almost like you could draw the floor or your mat back towards your chest. And then slowly lower back down. And again, checking 
the lower back's not doing the work, it's pretty hard for it to do the work with the arms in this position, but sometimes it happens. So really thinking tailbone down the back of your legs, sit bones down the back of your legs. Go for two more like that. Good. Can you get the same movement without so much pressure through the hands? And what we're going to do from here, option, we're going to increase it. From here, take a breath and do whatever you need to do through the body. Bring the hands up to your forehead. Forehead and hands come back down to the floor. And again, exhale, press the floor away. Bring the hands to your forehead. Good. Lower back down. So it's like a little two-part movement. Just working out what you need to do through your body to bring those hands up to your head. Let's go one more like that. And if this is enough, we're going to stay here. If not, you're going to move with me. So from here, take the arms out wide. So like a little goalpost position. And then lower all the way back down. And again, let's bring the hands back underneath your head. I'll add into that. Forehead up. Hands to forehead. Pause here. Arms out to the side. Now I've got a bung arm on the side. I should have done my other arm. I want you to think wrist and higher than your elbows. We're going to lower the chest. And the elbows down towards the floor, slowly lowering all the way down. I'm going to flick around so you guys can see it properly on the other side. All right, and again, we're going to press up, bring the hands up to your forehead, take the arms out to the side. Now, wrist stays higher than elbows as you lower that down through the body. Good, hands come back under you one more time. Checking that that lower back isn't doing the work, tailbones down the back of your legs, hands come up to forehead. Hands open up, elbows come down as the chest comes down, melting all the way down. Again, press yourselves back into child's pose. Big breath in. All right, how are we going? Let's go on to your back from here. Laying all the way down. Again, I always really good at picking my bum spot, it never works. So setting yourselves up in your position on your back, pelvis nice and heavy, a little hollow underneath the lower back, so we're in a neutral spine, chest is nice and heavy, collarbones are open nice and wide for me, hands are reaching down beside you. Okay, let's float your right leg up to tabletop, exhale, the left leg floats up. Take a big breath in. Exhale, reach through the fingertips, curl the head, neck and chest forward, palms are just floating off the floor. Here we start beating the hands towards the floor. So you can imagine there's like a little bouncy ball underneath my hands, but I'm just bouncing the bouncy ball. I want you to check as you're doing this that the body is not going with it, so the body stay nice and still. We're having the control through the body as the arms are moving. So we've got five little bounces on the breath in, and then five little bounces on the breath out. Good, so in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Good, keep that going, we're here for hundreds. So it's 10 breaths in, and 10 breaths out. If you want a little bit more of a challenge here, you could reach the legs long. On the breath out, you could start reaching them further away from you, keep those arms going. Good, can you think about Keeping this nice and drawn down to the abdominals. If you, as soon as you see them lifting up into your clothing, bring the legs higher or bring them back into the fold position. So we've got one more breath in. Breath out. Breathing in, knees come into your chest, rolling the head, neck and chest all the way down. Take a rock out through the back of the body. Whew. Really wish I'd worn my singlet. <laughs> All right, guys, holding on to the knees. We're going to use the knees. We're going to curl the head, neck, and chest forward, looking towards our thighs. Our shins are parallel with the floor. Bring both hands onto your left leg. Send your right leg long. Good. The, the, the left hand comes towards the left ankle, so outside hand is on the ankle. Hand coming across the body is towards the knee. We're going to inhale to switch the hand, switch the legs. Hand to and outside hand to ankle, inside hand to knee. And again, switch. Inhale, switch, exhale, reach. So you're using a little bit of that pressure of hand into shin to get that little bit more of a chest lift. So we're up slightly higher, 
we're off the shoulder blades. Good, inhale, exhale to reach. Anything coming on through the neck, you can always bring the head down. Really thinking about the ribs drawing you in towards your hips. Can you keep the leg movement and bring the hands in behind the head? Can you take those legs a little bit lower? Can you start adding a rotation? And so rotating towards the bent knee. This is where the instructor finds it challenging to talk. Small micro movements, guys. Keeping the pelvis nice and still. Two more on each side. Knees coming to chest, rolling all the way down. Oh. Well done. Good work. Last little set for the abdominals. We've done quite a bit really with all the plank work. Take a big breath in. Exhale, curl the head, neck and chest forward, looking towards your thighs again. It's the same position where we were before. Keep the chest where it is. Stretch arms and legs up to the ceiling. And then bring them back in. And again, exhale, let's reach up. Inhale to curl back in. Now use your hands on your shins. Ooh, got the good shakes going today. And again. All right, can you take those limbs a little bit further away from your center without the chest dropping? Go, let's go for four. Three. Keep the chest high. One. Good work. Rolling all the way down. Beautiful. Let's hold on behind the thighs. Let's go for a bit of rocking. Rocking up and rocking down. Keeping in that curl position. Noticing if there's any flat parts through your spine. Really needing to think about trying to draw the pubic bone towards your navel. Really try and get that posterior tilt of the pelvis. No flat spots. Keep the gaze on your pubic bone. So often I see in class, the gaze comes up to the ceiling and that's going to flatten your back. Round the back as much as possible. You're going to let go of the legs if you want that little bit more of a challenge. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Last one. And rolling all the way back down. Big stretch out through the abdominals. Look, I've prepped all the way off my mat. Oh, good. Big breath into the belly. Whew. All right, full roll ups, team. Inhale, hands come up to the ceiling. Exhale, look towards your toes. Rolling all the way up. Holy kololi. I've done too many abdominals today. Restate the spine back up. And again, exhale, roll down. Slow as possible. Rolling down, use the breath out. Inhale, reach the hands up and overhead. Exhale, hands come back to ceiling. Inhale, look towards your toes. Use the breath out. Bring the hands to your thighs if you need to. Roll all the way up and over. Rest it one more time. Rolling down. And then reaching up and overhead. Hands come back down to the floor. Let's go into our bridging. So let's go feet wide bridging. So um, extremely rotating the legs. Heels wider than your hips and then your toes even wider. A little bit closer towards your bum and that 90 degree bend. All right, take a big breath in. Exhale, tilt the pelvis back towards you, rolling all the way up to the top of the bridge. So having the legs wider is a little bit more of a glute activation here. You can really press the hips up to the ceiling, keeping the chest nice and heavy, and then slowly roll down, keep that hip control so you can get that beautiful peel through the spine. Inhale, roll the tail away. Exhale, rolling back up. Option to bring the hands up to the ceiling if you want that bit more of a challenge. Good, and then rolling back down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, rolling back up. Good, and again, keep rolling those knees out over the second toe. Really thinking as you roll up, it's the inner thighs that are peeling up towards the ceiling. Good work. Let's go two more. 
Good. Can you lift those sit bones even higher? Good. And then rolling back down. Last one. Heel up. And then pause at the top. Either staying here, holding here, or taking the option. We're going to lift the heels up and then lower the heels down. And again, lift the heels up and lower the heels down. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Leave the heels lifted. Let's lower the hips halfway. Pick the hips back up. And lower the hips halfway. Pick them back up. Good. So it's like a little halfway movement. It's like a little hinge through the hips. Good work. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Open the hips up, roll the knees up even wider, and then slowly roll all the way back down through the body. Heel toe the hip knees feet in to be in line with your sit bones now. Check the position through the legs, arms can relax down if you need to. All right, take a breath and from here we're rolling back up to the top of our bridge. Good work. We're pausing at the top, take a nice little breath in and again rolling back down. Okay, I'm going to move into single leg, so I'm staying with me if you feel like you can or just keeping with the double leg, a little bit more weight into that right foot, we're floating the left leg up. Good. Can you reach that left leg long and then sweep it down away? Inhale to bring it back up and again exhale, sweep it away. Bring it back up. Let's go for two more. Last one. Softly bend the foot down on the floor. Left foot now presses into the floor. Make sure that left glute's working. Pick the right knee up, reach it up to the ceiling. Good, so it's an exhale, reach away, reach through the heel, point through the toe, bring it back up. Three, two, one, keep pressing into that left foot, bring it back up, bend the foot, place it down on the floor. Good work, and again, melting down, halfway. Press back up, halfway. Press up, really pressing through those heels. Good, little pulses for five, four, three, two, one. Press the hips up. Can you press them even higher? Try and squeeze the knees together. Can you get the knees to touch? Open them back up. Squeeze the knees together. Open them up. Three more. Two, one, and then melting all the way. Back down, hug those knees into your chest. Little rock. Good work, guys. Coming to the end now. You've done really well. Move the spine in every direction, giving it nice, lots of nice movement and juice. Keep it going for the rest of the day. Place your feet down on the floor. Let's go right leg. Sweep it right over top of the left leg. Shift your hips to the right. And then we're going to let the legs just fall all the way over, going into a nice little spine stretch. Go look over towards that right hand. Really allow that hip to move away from you. Really focusing on the breath into that top side of the rib cage. Work, legs come back through your centre. Re square up. Left leg now over top. Send the hips an inch to the left. Legs come all the way down. Good work. Looking over towards the left. Try and keep that left shoulder down on the floor. Work, legs come back through to your center. Okay, let's hug the knees in. All right, your last little movement. We're just going to, anyone that knows rollover, you're more than welcome to go into full rollover. Screw myself up. Otherwise, I'm going to take you through a little bit of prep work. So, legs are in tabletop. From here, it's just a gentle little lift of the hips back towards you. 
Okay, so use your breath out. Inhale to lower. With control, we lower. So I don't want to see a big drop. Use the collarbones being nice and wide. Back of the triceps are pressing down into the floor. Legs stay bent. Or if you want to, you can send them along. Really using those lower abdominals. A full rollover is in your practice. If you've done it with an instructor before, go there. If you haven't done it with an instructor, keep going guys, I'm talking. <laughs> if you haven't done it with an instructor, I prefer you not to do it just because there is a danger of it coming in towards your neck. So I'll show you the full rollover. We use you clients that have been here with us before. Take a breath in, exhale, sweep the legs all the way up and over. So in the top of my rollover, my feet aren't coming down to the floor. I'm using my core, I'm using my glutes to hold me up. Okay, so I'm not having any compression through the neck. My chest is still really heavy. And then with control, I slowly lower down. So like I do through bridging, I roll through my spine. Keep pressing the back of the thighs away from me. Inhale to lower the feet down. Exhale, sweep them all the way back up and over. Okay, again, so imagine you're resting something on top of those thighs. Press the thighs up to the ceiling and then slowly roll all the way back down. Good work. So just know that you didn't have to go in for full rollover. It was just those little prep movements that really gets the lower abdominals going quite nicely. Beautiful, hold down, hug those knees into your chest. Take again that little rock and roll back and forth. Keep rolling, keep that round spot and through the lower back. Stop the flattening coming in, keep looking towards the pubic bone. All right, we're gonna go into a full stand up from our rolling, okay? So next one, plant the feet, rolling all the way up, well done. It's all right if you needed a couple of extra efforts to get there. All right, finish off with a standing roll down, weight through the feet. Actually, let's just go into a nice little bit of balance work before. So checking that weight through the foot, rolling from the front of the back of the foot, working up through the whole sole of your foot, and then rolling all the way up into your toes. And then come back down. And again, rolling all the way up. Good work, can you keep the heels lifted now? I'm gonna go into like a little squat. <laughs> and again into a little squat, and then come back up. So you may wanna come off your mat, so you should be able to sit a spongy mat, like I have. And again, squatting down, keep the heels lifted, coming back up. Woo, that's a spongy mat. See if you can keep the weight towards the big toe, check you're not rolling to the outer blade of the foot. Let's go two more. All right, coming back down into your squat position, holding the squat position, roll the heels down, lift the heels up. Again, roll the heels down, lift them up. We've got five more. Four. Lift the heels. Three. Good, that should feel good after we did the bridging, right, guys? <laughs> two. And one, lift the heels, come all the way up, lower the heels back down, straight into your roll down, keep the weight towards the front of the foot, rolling all the way down through the body. Good work, pause, have a soft bend in the knees, hands come on the floor, have a little walk out of those knees, really stretching out, let the hips come into like a little twist at the same time, let it roll. Good work, pausing, soft bend in both knees, walk the hands around to the outside of the right foot. Walk them around now to the outside of the left foot. And then slowly keep the weight towards the front of the foot, we're restacking all the way back up. Take a big sweep up and overhead. Beautiful little side bend at the top. And then sweeping the hands back down. Well done, guys. Um, you did really well. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and let me know.